wanted to break down a new way that you can run nickel 3-3, and it allows for a lot of flexibility for your defense. So what we're going to do in our coaching adjustments here, this out of Kansas City or multiple defense, zone coverage on match, auto flip on, auto alignment to man or base or default, whatever you want. But the cool part about this, uh, this little tutorial is it's going to teach you how to run nickel 3-3 in a way that is really good. Now, if you want to run the man-to-man, -man, actually, you don't need to do that. Never mind. All right, so let's just go with LB Blitz. So we're going to leave auto flip on for this. And we're going to first go with a bunch to the left side. Or, I'm sorry, just like a standard bunch, which is what most people are going to run. So the way this blitz works is this is going to combine the best components of nickel 335 odd and nickel 33 cub. And the really big advantage to running nickel 33 is you can put these guys right here. They can, uh, they can cross. You can cross man them on anybody. I think that is a super valuable thing. And it allows for a lot of flexibility from a coverage perspective. So what you see here is we have this stock blitz, a gap blitz angle from the middle linebacker, and we're going to take advantage of that. So the way we're going to set the splits up, and there are multiple ways to run this, and I'll go through that. But the main way that I like to run this is we're going to press, and then we're going to shift our defensive line away from the tight end. By shifting the defensive line away from the tight end, it is going to make it super difficult for them to pick it up. So shifting to the left. And then we're also going to shift our linebackers to that same side. So we're going to shift our linebackers to the left. And we have a couple different ways in which we can run this blitz. But my favorite way to run this blitz right now is to go ahead and crash my defensive line outside. And I'm going to stand about right in here. And I'm going to try to pull that center basically to the right. So as you can see here, and I like to put my user on a zone when I do this because he's going to be able to get KOs and coverage. Essentially this right here. And you see we're going to get either a B-gap rush or an A-gap rush. Now, if you only wanted to send four out of this, you could do that as well. So let's say I only wanted to send four. Now we're going to set the defense up, and it's going to look like this. And we're going to stand more so on this side. So what you're going to see now is we send four, and you see we get pressure at the quarterback. The really cool part about this blitz and what makes this so good is if they block a running back or a tight end, it really typically is not going to matter. So let's say they block the running back here. A lot of times this blitz can still come free because the running – and they're right there, it didn't. A lot of times the blitz can still come free because the running back will step up into the A-gap to try to take away your user rush. So that's why i got to be a little bit more aggressive with my user here. I'm going to get a little bit aggressive. You see there, get that nice pressure, and we're able to get the pressure. Now, if you wanted to make sure that this comes in, if they block the running back, what you want to do is you want to send five. So this is where that first setup that I showed you is really good because if they block the running back here, you see this is going to absolutely scream at them if they block the running back. Now, what, if, what happens if they block the tight end? Well, we'll first go through the four-man variation. So if they want to block a tight end here, and, we, and the cool part is, again, this linebacker can be cross on anybody on the field. This linebacker can be cross – like, there's so much you can do from coverage from this. So we could, you know, cross-man the tight end, you know, and then put a, a curl flat over here or something like that. Really good. Really, really good adjustment. So you see here that we're going to send four. They're going to block the tight end. A lot of times this is going to come free as well, as you see. So that's a good way to, that's a good way to get the pressure in. So again, this combines kind of the best elements of 3-3 and nickel 3-5 odd because this blitz angle is never going to change. He's always going to go into the A-gap. So if they block running back and they block tight end, a lot of times the blitz still comes free off of that left side because he has to step up into the A-gap. Sometimes it doesn't, uh, but this five-man I think is probably the most overwhelming. It's just a really good five-man blitz. If you contain, I did want to show that as well. So if I was to contain here, this contain will loop around, and there you see that was a max protect when we get the pressure in. So you can, you can also contain. The cool part about the contain is going to be that the contain version of this blitz, that if you watch that, we're going to try to now really trigger that defensive end to come free. So you see there that really triggers that defensive end. The problem is if the defensive end doesn't come free, that linebacker is going to come super slow. So that's one thing that is super important to mention. Now I wanted to go through, and I talked about in the beginning how this defense is really good against flip. So if they flip or if they come out in a, in a you know, basically the auto flip triggers, and now you're going to run the blitz on the other side. So the way you're going to run the blitz on the other side is you're going to shift away from the tight end, and you're going to crash out, blitz your linebackers. Notice this guy's still blitzing in the A-gap. 
So now you're just going to use her right in here. And it's the same basic principle. And you see, we're going to get that pressure. The other thing that's really good about this is if you want to send four um, that we didn't go over yet, if we shift both linebackers in line this way, notice that when we crash out, if you move, eh, unfortunately, he didn't do what I wanted him to do. You don't have to move him. He's fine right there. But if you use her this guy, this is still going to get the pressure. So there's, there's two ways to kind of run the same thing depending on who you want to use or and how you want to run the defense, right? But I think this is a super big deal because now you can get pretty good pressure from this defense while still maintaining the ability to be able to send. I mean, if you want to send six, look at this setup right here. You can send six, and now, I mean, this is, this is going to absolutely scream at them. So I think nickel 3-3 is all the way back. LB blitz. We thought it was gone. It's back in a big way. Um, this defense is really good. Uh, it, it really is. It's one of the better defenses that nobody's running because the alignment from nickel has always been really good. And now you can get some really, really good pressure that is just as good as the best blitzes in the game, right? This, this shift right here, you don't even have to, like, if you don't want to, you don't have to, to shift them to the right. The reason I like to shift him out here is I just think it saves time from a setup perspective. If you want to go back to the old school, like we're going to manually slide him out, you can do that as well. And a lot of times that will work too. So a lot of ways to run this defense, but in general, guys, this defense is unreal right now. And the cool part is, let's say they run the ball. We didn't even get to that yet, but let's say they run the ball. You're, you're going to be able to shoot the run every time. You have so much congestion down there. You have so many players uh, to pull from in that A-gap that this is going to be you know, a pretty clean shoot. And then the nickel corner kind of solves everything. Now, I did want to just real quick before we end the video, I did want to go over trips tied in because trips tied in is a little bit of a different alignment. And I just wanted to touch on this real quick. So how does this blitz work against trips? It works the same, but again, you want to shift away from the tight end. So we're going to shift left, crash out, shift linebackers left, right? It's going to look like this. And then you see that we're able to do this. So this defense is super good for trips. Now, you only have one player over here to put into coverage. But remember, I said you can cross man everybody on the field. So I can take and, – and the other cool part is every middle linebacker can go into a middle third, right? That's a super slept on adjustment as well. But honestly, right here, this is a really good trips defense. And then you just use the running back, right? If you use the running back here, that allows you to cross man and then purple this guy. You know, you can do something like this. But this is going to bring back this nickel 3-3 defense. And the pressure is insane. So I would really encourage you to try this blitz out because it's really good.